In this video, we'll focus on how to use the average with conditional formatting. So probably you've seen in some of the videos before how we use the average order or how we calculate the average with the average order. So what we want to do now is we want to analyze what is the average here. And this value is very useful because with that we can analyze what is a good product. A good product would mean it will be hitting the average or above. And everything that's below average should be removed. And that's how many businesses work. They look at the non-selling products and remove them from the list and add it with a new product. So let's do that as well. So the first step, of course, is to add in here a new value average sales order. And there we are. So we have this. So this one I will ignore. This is not important, this one. However, this one will be important because here we're going to put in the average. So let's type in average. And then we select these numbers here and enter. So now we have something very fascinating. We can see that $26.71 is the average sales order, meaning that Everything below this amount should be removed or should be improved with a new product. So how can we use this information and to filter out quickly with conditional formatting? So conditional formatting is very useful and having those can help you out to analyze data faster. So let's do that as well. So step one is click here on conditional formatting. And what we're going to search here now is we'll do here a condition that everything that is equal or greater than. So let's make this first greater than. So let's make this greater than. Click on this. And here we can select the option. So you probably recognize most of that if you follow the amount option here. So we'll say here the cell value should be greater or equal to, yes, greater or equal to the value of the average sale. So let's select the average sale here. And then we'll say, if that is the case, we'll make this green. Okay, let's confirm this. And you can see instantly it jumps to green. And the same will go as well is that we have condition formatting. The conditional formatting and then we say everything that is lesser than so we say here cell contains the value cell value should be less than and if it's less than this value the average sales order in that case it will be red and if you want to change the design you can select here all the options you have there's even a red border all kind of options all right, so I just keep it on this and then click OK to confirm. You can see nothing happens, of course, because the sales order, it is above sales order. However, we have the formatting here. Let's use the paintbrush and drag this down here. And now you can see instantly, this is what you want. You can see here all the values. And of course, if you would like to analyze what's the the average sales amount, you can even move this here. And you can see here we will remove the things. So then if you would just do this here, you can see the average amount of sales or the average sales. There are five products on average that people are buying from every product. So these two are missing the boat or are not, have no value at all. And this is really how you can use conditional formatting to faster analyze your sales and your and any kind of options in your dashboard. So if you like information like this from Excel, just go to the link, click on the link below and you'll find multiple courses on Udemy about different topics in Excel.